in this video we'll talk about the internal RAM of 8051. We know that 8051 has 128 bytes of internal RAM. When I say 128 bytes in decimal that means 0027F in hex and this 128 bytes again internally divided as some more memory blocks and in that regard the very first one is 32 bytes of working registers when I say 32 bytes in decimal that means 0021F zero zero to one F in hex that means thirty two bytes. And again these thirty two bytes are internally divided as four more blocks and they are known as four different register banks of eight bytes each. That these blocks represent four different register banks and this is called as bank 0, this is bank 1, this is bank 2 and this is bank 3. As I said each bank each bank contains eight different registers and they are called as R0 to R7 that makes eight different registers and same with this one R0 to R7 same with bank 2, R0 to R7, same with bank 3, R0 to R7. Now we know that we have got four banks of registers and each bank has eight bytes of registers which makes four into eight, 32 bytes of working registers. And the second classification of memory is sixteen bytes of bit addressable. This is sixteen bytes of bit addressable. When I say sixteen bytes, this starts from two zero to two F. That makes 16 bytes and these are called bit addressable. If I ask what is the use of this bit addressable registers, for example, if we want to store the status of a switch which is either 0 or 1, there is no point in storing one bit of data onto 8 bit register which is waste of memory. In that case, we can use, we can make use of readily available bit addressable registers. And the last classification is 80 bytes, 80 bytes of general purpose area. And that is also called as stack. And this starts from 30 to 7F. That makes 80 bytes. If you want to store any data and retrieve it quickly, we can make use of this available stack. And this is the third classification of memory. Now, we have learned that 8051 has 128 bytes of RAM and which is internally divided as 32 bytes of working registers and which internally divided as 4 more banks of registers of 8 bytes of registers each and we have got 16 bytes of 
bit addressable registers and 80 bytes of general purpose area which is also known as stack. In the next set of videos, we'll try to understand how to address registers of different banks and how to address bit addressable registers and how to store and retrieve data onto stack.